So these are our friends, Chris and Stephanie of the CNS Schoolie Project. They have their own YouTube channel where they are doing their Schoolie conversion and they're nice enough to show us around their bus today. Hey guys, how y'all doing? We've got a, a 1999 Thomas 3800 uh, DT-466 with an Allison transmission. It's a uh, 11 window, so it's pretty long. We've put Raptor liner on it. We uh, we blacked out the uh, lights up top uh, just to give it a more aggressive look. Um, got a uh, big light bar up there that we call the Wookie bar. So you can see all them Wookies coming uh, at night. Just left all the alien eye mirrors on there so we can see going around corners and just kind of restored them. Coming right here, we actually took this this the two double doors and made them one door we just took some i think it was 10 gauge uh, steel and riveted it in went over it with the raptor liner and it's solid as a rock probably heavier than it should be on the door here we put a uh, a biometric lock so that we can access via our thumbprint or via key or via our um, special code that we have We've also installed a full RV awning, which is pretty cool. So this comes all the way down. It gives a nice, beautiful shady area to, to sit under. We've got two four foot toolboxes here. These were custom built. We had a, a local welder named Phil um, create frames for them and uh, i designed the frames and then he just put them together at his shop and then really the other side of the bus is basically the same it's got another toolbox i guess now let's go to the inside of the bus can you show us your uh, lambo windows i think those are real cool yeah the water <laughs> pipe version right now <laughs> we'll eventually have a gas strut here and you may be able to place your order right here one of these days at the CNS Schoolie Burger Joint. <laughs> these used to be the emergency windows. One was in the back, one was in the front. And what we did was we actually took one of the channels, the wire channels that we uh, removed from the bus, and we wanted to repurpose it somehow. So this is one of the ways that we did that. And then I was able to rivet in this uh, piece of wire channel in between the two windows to create pretty much one window. I love how they did their door too, because I like the original look of a school bus door, but this just feels so solid and it looks very clean the way that they had it done. So welcome to our future living room and office space. When we get com everything completed, we do already have a sofa that will go here. It's a pretty long sofa, and then it also will have a, a L shape to it that you can utilize. You can actually store it underneath the couch just to be like all a single couch, or you can pull it out for extra seating, and it'll be like an L shape. And then over here on this side will be like our office space. We haven't fully decided if we're going to do a dinette here or just a desktop area. And of course, if we do a dinette, it'll just be like a booth dinette with a table in the middle on a lagoon mount. And if we do a desktop, it'll just be a long desktop that'll kind of meet up with our countertop. And then it'll have a piano hinge that pulls out this way so that we can have more desk space and everything. And we'll just have chairs here to sit at. And then a televator that maybe comes out the back and a monitor stand or something if we need it. And then that will feed in right to our kitchen area. So the kitchen area will be two sides. Um, this side will be the longest span. It's going to be approximately six feet long. And this side will be probably anywhere, depending on the size refrigerator we get, because the refrigerator will sit right here. Then this span will probably be somewhere around three and a half feet. And the stove will be on this side, the sink will be on this side, so that we'll be able to put our sink here underneath the nice Lambo windows, and we'll be able to put the faucet outside. We've got the plumbing PEX run, and then we don't have the electrical run yet, but the holes for the electrical 110 will be there, and then the 12 volt stuff will be run up here. We'll also have another pantry 
probably under this counter space right here that will be a pull out it'll be just a smaller um, version since we did end up with this large pantry back here and then I want to have some kind of thing for spices over here by the stove that will be a pull out um, like to hold spices here we've got our washer dryer combo unit this was a great marketplace find. It was just about brand new. It only been used for you know a couple of times. For you guys out there that are on a budget, um, think about the marketplace, think about Craigslist and how you can uh, stretch your money to go farther. All of the walls in this bus that are behind, that plumbing's behind are also removable. So we've made removable panels so we can service anything behind the walls if we need to. Right here was actually, this was gonna be part of the bathroom originally. But when we looked at our bathroom, we thought well, we've got a ton of space and more than we really need. So what I did was I just kind of built an extra wall and we decided to put a pantry here. So this pantry comes out on uh, full extension slides. You know, I've got in some of these things, I mean, I've got probably up to 50, 75 pounds worth of tools in here. And they're, uh, so they're working out pretty good so far. Also down here in the bottom, We've got some sliding doors here that um, are gonna hold our soaps and Dr. Bronner's. Up top here, we've got some doors that uh, open up and expose a, another, uh, you know, six inches of storage space that's built into the wall. Uh, moving right along here, we've got a, a skylight that we cut. I actually just repurposed the whole, the old hatch hole super awesome uh, lets in a ton of light we just got through finishing up our cedar closet we didn't want to really clad this wall uh because you know that space is important it's you know three inches so we can uh we can use that in all kind of ways the walls uh, again are removable so if you check out this wall right here this panel just pops out and then uh you can see the plumbing exposed behind it and so pecs and then our drain lines and then we went ahead and insulated the windows so that uh we don't have any heat or anything that's come in through there now i've also got a uh, closet unit that's going in right here that i've built i've just got to trim it up a little bit so it's got six shelves in it and we can store all kind of shoes and whatnot in that area Standing in the bathroom here, you can see that uh, got a cubby on this side. We've actually got a 36 by 36 shower pan that we found brand new on the Facebook marketplace. Got it cheap and it's a, a nice delta shower pan so we kind of built everything else around this as a focal point. Um, we'll wind up having a Nautilus shower door right here so it'll be a retractable shower door that is also self squeegeeing so any water um, will just come out and drip down into the pan. This area right here is going to be where the toilet is. So we're going to have a composting toilet that sits in this area. And we've got three cubbies in here. These cubbies are just going to be again for soaps and whatnot. They'll be open and tiled. Behind me here, we've got a, a little space with again another removable wall. Because I can only make the pantry drawers, a certain size so they don't hit um, the washer and dryer it left us with about 13 inches of space back here so I figured well we'll just go ahead and put a put some shelves in here and make a closet out of this so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make this area a closet for towels or toiletries or whatever we need and then we'll have a door a door on it here we got the vanity room. Again, this uh, vanity wall is removable. All I got to do is pop this mirror off and that will give me access to all the wiring back here. And then that wall can come out to service any plumbing behind the vanity. You know, again, we wanted to be able to close off kind of this whole section of the bus with a door here or a curtain or something and make this whole part back here the bathroom so that it's separate from the other part of the bus. So that's why we chose to put the vanity room here and the shower on the other side. Back here you can see the bed and this bed will lift up on gas shocks as well. So I've also routed out some air vents to create some air circulation so that we get no mold or mildew under the mattress. We'll also be using one of those den dry, den dry mattress protectors.
thank you Chris and Stephanie for showing us around your bus. Please check them out and subscribe to them to see how this bus is going to turn out.